Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. Savings, ways to make money. They are some really popular questions over on my Instagram right now. So I thought I'd do another savings video for you guys. And today's video is going to be ways you can make money online. Legitimate ways which actually work. Because there's so many things online that I see. Oh, you know, quick ways of making money. Complete this survey. Yeah, you might make a couple of pennies and it will probably take you hours to do so. I've been there, done that didn't really make any money and I wanted to bring you some ways today which are ways you can make money which are easier, would make you more money for less time, ways which I've potentially tried myself and made money myself so I know they work as well and now we're in the new year I know a lot of us are looking to save, we're looking to reach our financial goals and that is why I wanted to bring this video to you early in the year so that you can try and start some of these tips and maybe try and apply some of these to help you grow your money in 2020 and help reach your goal this year. Before we do get into the video, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, then it's at HazelwoodX, I'll pop it on the screen as well. And I'd love if you could give me a follow on there because that's where I post a lot of question and answer videos and that's where you can get involved in financial topics that are gonna appear on my channel this year. And the first thing I wanted to state, which I think is kind of obvious, but it's just a little disclaimer, you're not gonna get rich overnight. So making money takes time time it takes patience it certainly takes consistency and keeping at it but all these tips over time are great ways of building your income to build you a passive income which means a regular source of income which keeps on giving month after month which gradually grows each month and doesn't really have any nasty surprises so you're not going to get say 1,000 one month and only two pounds the next month it might just be a consistent say 200 pounds a month for example and the money you make from any of these tips it's totally down to the effort you put in and how much time you want to put into it and how much time you're willing to put into it. But if this video helps you to make £2, £10, £200, £2,000 a month, whatever it is, I'm really happy if I can help someone. So anyway, so my first tip is to sell online. I feel like selling online is quite a standard thing a lot of people already know about and do. But, but I thought I may as well readdress this just in case any of you have kind of forgotten or haven't thought about this, I guess. So there's basic ways you can sell online. So the first thing is to sell existing things you have to have a clear out of your house and think right I need to get rid of all these clothes these bits of interior they're cluttering my place up and I want to get rid of them so that's your kind of first starting point I guess and this is a quick way of getting income which is not going to be a regular passive income but it's still a way of getting some dollar dollar bills so you can sell on Facebook sales, you can sell on eBay, you could sell on an app called Depop, you could post it on your Instagram page. So any kind of social channels, I guess. Really quick and easy ways of selling things that you currently have. So that's a quick way to get money fast and to declutter your house. So I wanna take this point the next step further now in a way that you can produce a regular income. And that is to find a product that you can sell or products on a regular basis on your chosen platform. And there's lots of different ways of doing this. So for example, you might be someone that's really creative, really crafty, then think of an item that you know people do like, which is quite in high demand and something that you have time to set aside to make. So you could be doing, I'm trying to think of some examples here guys, you could do wax melts, you could even do baking for people in your local area, you could do wood burning, I don't know if you guys know about wood burning but it's actually quite easy and you could wood burn spoons and personalise them and sell them, that kind of thing. It's a nice way to start a little business on social media which doesn't really cost you much to start up and get running because you can start just by making one or two items maybe get your friends to support you get them to spread the word and gradually this is a really good way of growing a little business which you can do in the evenings you could do at the weekends you could fit around the school run you could fit around school or college or your full-time job I know it sounds a bit like a big task but it's really not and a lot of people I know do do this you could start by buying bulk earrings online or doing a little earring business you could start by doing loads and loads of different things Things. There's so many different ideas. I suggest go and researching something you're passionate about, something that you're willing to invest your time into. But that is certainly a way of making money and it's definitely a way that can grow as well. So, you know, it might only start by making you a few pounds a month, but this can really grow and it could potentially turn into your job if it does really well. So that's certainly something to consider and it is a way of building a nice passive source of income. Another way is to sell a service. So you're still selling items online, but you're not actually selling a physical item that you've made. And a great website to sell services is a website called Fiverr. So it's Fiverr with two R's at the end. And Fiverr is for so many different things, but it's mainly digital related things. So things like anyone who's really, really good on computers and can create great animations or can create logos for businesses or t 
t-shirt designs or YouTube intros and outros. That's where I bought my YouTube intro and outro from. It could be a background track for a YouTube video or anything like that, you know, animation sounds. If you're great at English, you could do CVs for people, you could do covering letters, anything like that, anything that involves typing or drawing or digital creation is great to sell on Fiverr. So definitely check it out. If you're someone that's up and coming, you might be someone that's at college who's great with media and you wanna just make a little bit of extra money at the weekends. It's a really, really great way of doing this. For example, the Christmas, intro and outro I had for my channel I paid £60 for and the girl managed to turn that around in a matter of a few hours so if you worked out the hourly rate she was charging it's actually quite high but I found that to be a really cheap service so you're not only giving a cheap service to someone therefore creating more custom but you're also potentially generating yourself quite a high hourly rate if you if you can turn it around quite quickly so that's a really great way to start a business and great way to start sales if you're a newbie or if you're a beginner at whatever you're doing Doing or just someone who needs clients regularly I guess. If you're someone that has a service such as beauty services, say you've gone to college and you're a beautician but you don't know where to get started then there's a website called Fresher and I know about that because the lady who does my nails uses Fresher for her appointments but Fresher basically allows you to create your own little business on there and you can log all the treatments that you can provide and people can book directly on there. They can simply search for a service in their local area. And if you're set up on there, then you will appear on the list. So it's a really great way of getting clients on board if you're someone that does a service such as hair or makeup or beauty or anything like that as well. Now, something that I am really, really interested in, and I haven't tried yet, but something I'd certainly want to look into this year potentially if I have the time, which hopefully I will, is drop shipping. So drop shipping is basically where you create your online shop and you sell an item, but you never actually physically hold that item. So for example, you can use Amazon for this. Amazon have a service called FBA, which stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. And there's another website called Shopify as well. And you basically can create your online business, your online shop, you find an item and then you sell it on there and they hold the item, they ship the item and do all of that for you. So all the time that it takes for you is to find a suitable item that you're happy with selling and to basically get your shop up and running. So that is something I would love to set some time aside to achieve. I know there are so many success stories of doing this. You can just find a particular niche if you like. You could say start a shop with like earrings. I know I said earrings earlier, but you could do that. You could do a t-shirt shop. There's loads of different options you have. You could do gadgets, whatever you want to do. I don't know the complete ins and outs of this, but I know it is a great way of making money and I know that a lot of people do it. So that is definitely something to set up if you're someone who wants to create a little side hustle, which again could potentially turn into a great business and make you a lot of money. Effectively, you're just being like a shop. Tesco's, for example, they find a product by whatever the brand is, say Heinz. They buy that product from Heinz for whatever the amount is and then they're reselling it on and they're making a big profit, that's basically what you're gonna be doing without holding the item. You're gonna be finding products, reselling on, and making that profit cut, which is great. So that's a really great way of making money and a great way to actually start a business and something that could potentially be like a long-term business plan. And next, I wanna talk about ways of making money online through social media platforms, AKA being an influencer. But before we go into that, I wanna to talk to you about some things that anyone can do. So you don't have to be an influencer to do this you can still do it as well, but it is ways influencers make money as well. And the number one thing for that is an app called 21 Buttons. So 21 Buttons is basically like Instagram, you post pictures on there, but you can tag the item you bought in your picture for anyone to purchase via that button. So they click the button and then shop for the item and it doesn't cost them anything extra, so you're basically referring them on it's effectively kind of like an affiliate link, if you like, where you're making commission, but they're not paying any extra. The brand is actually paying you. And you create money in your 21 Buttons account, and then once you get to £10, you can withdraw the money. So with my 21 Buttons account, I actually don't use it that much anymore, which I definitely should. But when I first started my 21 Buttons account, and I barely had any followers, I was still making a few pounds a day. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when I had such a small following on there, which my following has now massively grown, but at the beginning, I was still making a nice amount versus the followers I'd had. So imagine doing that every single day, you could potentially build a nice amount of additional income each month for you. But I am now gonna talk about influencer side of things and social media side of things with a bit more of a following. 
I will probably do a video all about this another time, all about being a YouTuber, being a small YouTuber, and what it's been like for me, and how much money can you really make, or can you even make money, but I just want to talk to you about the ways that influencers do make money on their platforms, because it might seem daunting, and it might seem that this is something you can't do, but everyone can do it. It doesn't take long to build a following on YouTube, as long as you find your niche and you're passionate about it, and you're consistent it's a great way of building a business online as well it might take you a year to start making profit but that year will soon fly by and it is an earner it really is and as i said i will do a separate video all about that at some point soon but for now i just want to talk to you about the ways youtubers and influencers do make their money so of course with YouTube videos you can make money via ads and that is the ads that you see throughout the video and that's a way of making money from YouTube and you're basically getting a cut of the ad revenue they get paid for your videos so the amount will totally vary I'm not going to go into figures here but it depends on you know your following size and all kinds of different factors everyone is different it's not a set amount at all but that's a nice way of making a recurring income each month and typically that amount will just keep growing each month and the more videos you put out on your channel channel that will gradually grow because you'll start making recurring money on old videos if they're popular videos and they keep getting views year on year you're going to keep making money from that same video so the more videos you have the more money you make on a regular basis that is kind of like the number one way i guess youtubers make money kind of baseline income if you like and the second way they make money which is a real earner is via brand collaborations so brand collaborations are more the kind of one-off opportunities i guess sometimes they can be ongoing relationships but often they're a one-off opportunity where you get paid an upfront fee to promote a particular service or product and that's again another great way of making money although it is a little bit more infrequent and not as secure as the ad revenue that's why youtubers and influencers have lots of different sources of income because it would be too risky to just do ads or to just focus on one particular thing it's great to have lots of different avenues Another thing that he can make money from is affiliate linking and anyone can do this, you don't have to be an influencer, you can just be a normal person with Instagram but of course the more followers you have the more money you're going to make but affiliate linking is where you create a link via a website, there's lots of websites available, Magic Links is one of them, Reward Style, I'm sure there'll be other websites available for smaller following accounts because sometimes you have to have a minimum following to get approved for them but it's definitely worth giving it a try and trying to sign up anyway and you basically create a link for the clothing you're wearing. So for example this, I could try and find this on there, most brands are on there, you create a link, you can post that link on your Instagram story, you can post it on your Facebook, on your YouTube, and if someone clicks that link and shops through it, you're going to get paid a small commission for every single sale that you generate, so that's another great way of making money, and then of course you could do merch and things like that if you're a bigger influencer, which I'm not there yet guys, but that is another way that people can make money online as well. So I'm going to wrap it up there guys, I really hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you take something away from it, and maybe it will give you a little bit of food for thought and make you start thinking about ways that you can start making money. Making money is never going to be necessarily easy at first. Eventually it gets a lot easier and a lot less time consuming, but at the start, like most things, you do have to put the groundwork in, put the effort in, be positive, be consistent and believe you're going to achieve something. I know it's so hard and it is really, really difficult at the start to believe that, but honestly, you can do it, you really can. The amount of times I've tried things and given up in the past, and finally I've actually focused on my YouTube channel over the last year and a bit, and it is starting to grow for me. So, of course I've not got the biggest channel out there, but I've started to build myself my own little online business, if you like, and you can as well. Anyone could do it anywhere in the world, so I really hope that you found this helpful and that you'll start making some dollar dollar bills from this video. So guys, if you haven't subbed already, I would absolutely love for you to join my little YouTube family, and if you haven't followed me on Insta then I'd love for you to do that as well. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching as it really helps my channel out and until next time have an amazing rest of your day. If you've got any other financial topics you would love me to cover then do send them to me on Instagram and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys!